my own white linen Cozumel Beach is about to do a little sinning I know you see me grinning Aviators like a pilot About to make a move rock star Good Charlotte I stay fly, call me Ed Alright, I'm Marissa And I'm Kelly Alright, you first Alright Y'all need a room? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you, do you find me physically attractive? What if I back my lashes like this? <laughs> I, I find you very physically attractive when you bat your eyelashes, you know? Just, we already took a couple shots, so. <laughs> Alright, cool. Even with your bald brows, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> Spotted that on the record. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> if I had a hot sibling, if, <laughs> would they be off limits sex wise? <laughs> yes, they would. <laughs> she does have a hot sibling. <laughs> <If>. <laughs> yes, they would. You are the only one I have eyes for. Oh, I love you. Okay, your turn. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about an awkward or unexpected sex dream you've had, and was anyone here involved? Um, I had a sex dream about my history teacher, <laughs> but that was, that's about probably the un most unexpected. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? <coughs> my seventh, eighth grade history teacher. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing that. Was it in seventh or eighth grade? Yeah. Okay. okay. And like after. Yeah. Oh, so there was more than one sex yeah. dream. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> You're like I'm done talking about. It. Wait. Was it your turn? My turn. My turn. Oh. Yeah. All right. What's a sex thing you've never been able to try but wish you could? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Not here, not now. <laughs> we'll save that one for later. That's not a not. Already drinking. Yeah. Well, how about <laughs> not here, not now. Take that like a champ, babe. I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right, your turn. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Inadvertent nudity. Tell us about when it happened to you. Oh, never. I'm always pretty, pretty covered up. Okay. Like I've had a nip slip or anything. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My mom can give a good story or two. Where is she? <laughs> I'm like, I got. This. Yeah. That was the wrong part for, for me to pick up. Uh, tell us about a time in which a romantic partner just didn't understand how to do a certain sex thing. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably why I'm not married anymore, guys. No, it's not Shit. the only reason. <laughs> Don't start. You might want to take a drink. <laughs> no, it's fine. Just the last person I was married to wasn't good at oral, so here we are. There we go. There you go. Okay, your turn. Your turn. She traded in the penis for the tongue. <laughs> I mean, no. They were both tongues. They were all tongues. They were all tongues. They were all tongues. <laughs> so, <laughs> how would your partner or your most recent ex describe your sex life with a movie title? You told me you don't be looking at your Life. The boring and unusual. How about that? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Unfortunately. All right. Oh. David. What's a sexual thing you gave a good try but just couldn't get into? <laughs> all heterosexual sex, babe. I can answer that for you. <laughs> yeah, all can heterosexual <laughs> sex, including anal. There you go. All right. How confident are you in your sexual orientation? And have you ever experimented outside of it or considered it? Do you ever think you will? <laughs> what a funny question. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm pretty confident, but I uh, don't really care. That's <laughs> pretty much it. I'll go for anybody. Mm -hmm. As long as they mean something. It's got to mean something. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. We're too honest. We need to drink a little more. I drank. <laughs> I did my job. When was the last time you were tested for a sexually transmitted infection? What were the results? Man, they really want people to get divorced after this. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were the results? In April of last year, and I was clean. Good. Good to know. Good Pretty to sure know. we talked about that. Yeah. It's good to know. <laughs> okay. 
Have you ever had a one night stand and did you know their last name and do you remember it now? That's the only one. Had a one night stand. I don't know their last name. I'll the count it. Of I'll the count it. Stand. There we go. I'll count it. Yeah. I don't know their last name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I remember their first name, honestly. <laughs> There's a couple I don't remember their first name either, so you're good. What's the most creative you've ever had to get in order to smash? What was standing in your way and how did you solve it? <laughs> that really doesn't apply to the women because y'all don't have to work for sex. Uh, yes, we do. When it's a girl to a girl, yes, you do. I will disagree with that wholeheartedly, especially if it's a girl that's posed as straight and you want to get. Yeah, I'm just telling you right or now. Posed as straight, like, or that know. they're curious. Yes, I do know, babe. Right. There was a couple Tinder dates. I know. <laughs> Tinder dates, yeah. Mm -hmm. How creative did you have to get? I want to know now. Yeah, you want to know? know? Um, there was a Molly experience. <laughs> there was. Okay, okay. Your turn. Grab my card. Okay. <laughs> if I cheat on, my, if I cheat on my partner, is it absolutely essential that I tell them why or why not? I think so. Yeah, I think I think we've well established that conversation. We don't yeah. we don't do that. We don't do that here. What are or would be oh, sorry, your ground rules for an open relationship? Um, wouldn't do that again, but you know, there would be a lot of conversations lot of that, happen that happen before that. A lot of rules that happen before that. A lot of rules. A lot of rules. But I'm not sure I would do that again. So here we are. Lesson learned. Lesson, mm -hmm. learned. Lesson learned. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Have you ever paid for sex work or would you? <laughs> I have never, but I would because sex work is a real job and I will use this as my platform to position why sex work should be legal. <laughs> but other than that, no, I have not personally used. Okay. I mean, OnlyFans, but you know. Okay, fair enough. You paid for OnlyFans? Yeah, you get to support a sister every once in a while. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay, so it's you okay. paid for sex work. Yeah, okay, okay, that counts, yes, that okay, counts. Fair enough. Fair enough. And you were watching? No, it was a supporting thing. Oh, I'm like, I'll pay for you. Hi, I got you, boo. No, I didn't watch. That's why I didn't count. You it. never peeped? No, I didn't peep. I was why? supporting a sister that I appreciated, and I said, "Go, girl." But I get free porn, so it's okay. It's okay. okay. Fair enough. I was, I was about to say, it, but never mind. <laughs> Describe your sex life with a movie title and tell us your reasoning. I had to answer two. Yeah, you did apparently, but this one should be a lot more fun. <laughs> Hopefully. Describe a what? Our sex life in a movie title. Oh, I already came up with. I'm gonna take a shot on that one. <laughs> you don't want to elaborate on that one, baby. Take a shot. I'm tired of answering movie titles. <laughs> I'm no director. <laughs> I'm no director. She said this is the wrong girlfriend mm -hmm. for that question. Please and thank you. Do a shot. Mm -hmm. Do a shot. All right. That's my gear. You're so cute. Uh, my turn. Okay. My okay, turn. okay. 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 <laughs> what? I know this one. What's the sex skill you're most proud of? <laughs> my uh, eating out capabilities. They're ten out of ten. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most su surprising discovery you've made about your own body? Um. Like in what way? Mm, any way, baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to answer that. Surprising discovery. But I like anal. That's a good one. That was surprising to me. I didn't think I'd like that. So there we go. Okay. Fair enough. Fair right. enough. Do you need an emotional connection to have great sex? If you've had a spectacular hookup that was purely physical, tell us everything. I do think that there is a satisfaction from that emotional connection that cannot be fostered otherwise. But I also think there's something that's really like, just in, like a quick get out and done, you know, about a one night stand. But I prefer the emotional connection. Gotcha. And I'm also like the type of person that we've talked about this a lot. Like I don't like 
toys and shit just as like the only thing. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think like that physical emotional connection is necessary. What about your hot hookup? You had a hot, just hot sex hookup? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about mm -hmm. that, okay? I feel like you need to take a shot because you only half answered the question. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take a shot. Fair enough. I'm like, oh, and there's no <laughs> lid. There was <laughs> never a lid on that. Like, I'm trying to pause myself a little bit of time here. Okay, so there. Right. <laughs> I'll call her out though. <laughs> She's like, we're gonna talk about it later. I think it's funny how my mom stays in the room the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I see you two way too often to hear all of this. I know her temperature is getting hotter by the second. Your face is getting <sighs> so red. Love my life. It's my inner German. So. Oh, here, you can ask me that one because it was my turn. <laughs> What's the maximum number of people you'd be interested in having sex with that one? I know, it's a pretty wild Yeah, question. and I want to know your answer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anything over three, now we're just in orgy territory. Uh -huh. That's just a little much. Fair like, enough. I don't know if I could do. I guess I'll have an orgy because I said six. Six? <laughs> okay, fair that's enough. That's fair. I, I mean, like that's it. a party, but like actually have, I think at that point we're just going crazy. So. I'm like, but what's that dynamic like for you <laughs> and six people? How many? Well, no, I want five or six people. Oh, gotcha, oh, of course gotcha. you did. I did See, four. Fair enough. Put them to sleep. I want to do six. I want to see if I can last that. Gotcha, okay, gotcha, all right, gotcha. fair okay. enough. I think like oh, over wait, three. Hold on, hold on. So if, if you're doing four, is it all girls? Is it mixed? If it's four, like there's got to be like, I don't know. I could do all girls or like one dude. Anything over one now is like a cock fest. I'm good. So, <laughs> you know, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. All right. If oh, you can it? abstain from sex and masturbation <laughs> for one full year, You'll win twenty. I could answer this for you. You'll win twenty seven thousand dollars in a nice used car. Will you make it? Absolutely no, not. No, absolutely, absolutely not. She would absolutely not, not at all. Not at all. Twenty seven thousand. That's nothing. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like you would have to make that like at least five million. That wouldn't nice even get some people out of debt. Like a nice used Lamborghini with five million dollars, please. <laughs> What's something that you wish your ex would have done sexually but didn't? I already know the answer to this as well. That's funny. Did you say cared? <laughs> okay. Cared. Sexually, honey. Uh, cared. Okay. You cannot care about sex, right? Like, pay attention to your partner. Give them Being a choice. Yeah. yeah. Just caring about themselves, getting yeah, off, like, not you. Yeah, exactly. Like, give your person right mutual mm -hmm. attention here. Okay. That's all that's Fair necessary. Enough. Fair enough. All right. Let's not yeah. share this podcast link. Thanks. <laughs> Assume <laughs> this, I don't know if this one applies. Assuming we were both single, would you hook up with me? How All desperate the, would you have to be? We'll pick a different one. We'll pick a different I one. I wouldn't have to be desperate at all, and I guess I would. <laughs> How many people have you hooked up with off dating apps? Okay. That one I want to cancer. <laughs> oh my god, I have to actually think about it. Hold on, I'll drink. tell you. Right. You might as well just drink, babe. Just drink. <laughs> And we'll do the How count up later. Have you hooked up with off of dating sites? No, like no. eight. Eight. Yeah. Including you. number. Eight? Oh, In a year and a half. I'd be it's it's not many. Number. I don't it's have sex that often. Like, I'm kind of like, I need like I need the emotional like connection, you know? Oh, oh. Yeah. It's, it's well, to be fair, I was like in an almost decade long relationship. So, so yeah, so. like I was off the market from like 17 Ooh. until 25. So, yeah. I was not obtainable in those ways. Yeah. We have so a lot of eight off in the last time. year and a half. Hence, almost two years. Hence the bland, right? The life. Of yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. together I've had sex with like twenty five people. So there you go. Oh, yeah, she, she don't care. I don't care. No, I have zero fucks given. She had the third shot. She's zero fucks given. Zero fucks given. 25. 25? Mm -hmm. That's else? like, no. No. How Lots are of, you bi or are you... She's I consider lesbian. myself mm -hmm. lesbian, but there has been men sprinkled. But she's had some unlesbian moments. Yeah, I've had some unlesbian moments. That's correct. That's correct. No, 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 no. But she never liked it. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. It was just so like you never liked it. You it was trying. You tried, you were trying. It wasn't okay. So it's not like I can't come, right? So. It's just not the same satisfaction as I no, get with a no, girl. No. Like with a girl, no, okay. it's like, 
bliss. It's like 100%, like everything's great. Like even if it's bad sex, it's good sex. Does that make sense? Where I've had sex, I, I don't know, I've had some Tinder men show up with a good four incher and they don't know what to do. So like, I'm sorry, like. bad sex, I mean, if you have a four inch dick, I can't imagine that you're gonna have great sex. Fair enough, fair enough. But I don't need penetration to do anything. So like, if you don't know what to do, like. Most women don't need penetration to per se get off. Mm -hmm. right. but Good, you know something. There we go. Oh, I'm glad you know that. I'm glad you know that because not many men kidding. know I'm that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 you go, you go, you go. <laughs> okay, who here would you have the best sexual chemistry? He said that's a no for you guys. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Have you ever been injured during sex or injured someone else? Heartbreaks don't count. Honey. For the privacy of others, I will take it. It's okay. I know the answer. I know the answer. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've already day. spilled a little too much dirt about him. I'll take a shot. I don't know about that. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that is a big one. That was a choice. That was a real choice. <laughs> I'm bringing home a drunk Marissa. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I did you a favor. I'm going to say that to the podcast directly. I did oh, you a favor. Okay. okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Have you ever cried after or during sex? Were they tears of joy, love, or utter disappointment? <laughs> <laughs> I have cried, and they were tears of joy and love. Oh, that's sweet. He's really bad. He's really bad. Okay. What's the best compliment you've ever gotten on your sexual performance? <laughs> tears. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. All right. Do you think you're better suited to open relationships or monogamy? Have you tried each? Um, I think monogamy and I have tried each. Okay, I think you'd agree with that. I'm a pretty one woman show, yeah. Have you ever had a threesome? If you haven't yet, build your ideal trio. I have never had a threesome. Uh, <laughs> my ideal trio would probably be two women, but throw a dude in there. That's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> and then, way. like, if that dude's eat yourself up, then, like, I'm way more satisfied. So, you know, there we go. It's an ideal trio, right? <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Which of your hookups created the most drama? Was there permanent fallout? <laughs> You can take a shot if you want, baby. You don't have to answer that one. Yeah, I want to take a shot on that one, guys. That yeah. one's a shot. We're going to be real drunk by the end of this. I guess we're going to have a lot of fun seeing Avatar. Because we're definitely not cleaning the house. Great. Your mom thought we were going to be responsible. Responsible at all. You thought we were going to be responsible. And then sign us up for a drinking game. Who does that? Your mom. <laughs> You ask when you don't fit, feel the burn, but you only taste the alcohol. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> What's the last object you put inside yourself or another person? <laughs> Should I make a joke about the cucumbers today or no? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No. Okay. No. No, it's not. No. no. Um, the ceviche was good, guys. Don't worry. Um, no, the, uh, a vibrator. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll Fair enough. <laughs> we'll, we'll stay there. <laughs> um, have you ever had a sex, have you ever had sex with somebody who is already in a committed relationship? Mm. Have you ever helped someone cheat, pretty much? Okay, but I didn't know at the time. So, Have yes you know is the answer. Them. Have you known they were a committed relationship? They were married, had a significant other. I didn't know until the next day, so no. 
That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Both times I didn't know until the We're next day. We're not about that drama. We told you, man. I've been cheated on. I ain't trying to do it to somebody else. So here we are. Your turn, bye, man. Okay. Have you ever walked in on your parents doing that thing that grown-ups do when they love each other very much? No, but I've heard it, and it's unfortunately for me a scarred memory in my head. I've heard it quite a few times. So we'll move on from that question. Oh my God, that's funny. Have you ever gotten down in public? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where at? At a bar in the bathroom. Dang. Yeah. Dirty. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> you know, living the life. There was a life before you, baby. I'm sorry. I love you so much, though. <laughs> Did your parents talk to you? Why are the parents' questions right now? Did your parents talk um, to you about sex, and did you learn more about it from them or elsewhere? My parents didn't talk to me about shit about sex. It was have sex, get pregnant, and die. Like, that is what I got. So... No, I Would learned you about, about it on YouTube and YouTube influencers. Thank God for that generation. Way better than the YouTube nowadays. Yay. Gross. <laughs> if I had a hot parent, would you let them seduce you? No. <laughs> would you hook up with my mom, babe? No, I wouldn't. Megan, I love you, but no. <laughs> it's more that mother vibe, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say here. That's a good ending one. Oh, my All God. Right. So what did you guys think of the show? I like it. It's fun. You need it's less funny. vanilla people, but it's fun. Yeah, like we're very it. vanilla. Very like, they vanilla. were much more fun than us, but yeah. you know. Were we? Not no, true, because y'all... How are you guys vanilla Chemistry is, is... It's about the chemistry. <laughs> and then how y'all answer the question. Yeah. And then, I knew a lot of these already. Right. Yeah. Because we're going to have some other LGBTQs that are going to be like, oh, look, it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> and it's Thanks. fun because like we already knew some of these, so it's not like we're damning ourselves, no. honestly. Which ones didn't we?